Welcome to this interview with Dr. Alexander van Megen. He's one of the award winners of the Jüdische Excellence Prize 2023. That's an award for outstanding young scientists for doctoral researchers here at the Forschungszentrum. Alexander, first of all, congratulations on the prize. Thank you very much. What would you say briefly, what is your research? What was your doctoral thesis about? The, the broad picture is really to gain an insight on how the brain works, how it processes information, how we perceive things. Mm -hmm. And there are still a lot of very basic questions that are wide open where we have no understanding. And I think that's particularly relevant in order to cure diseases, to, to understand what goes wrong and then how to fix it. And so the approach I took within my thesis was a physicist's approach. So I tried to reduce it, to abstract away details and to make it more and more tractable and more and more understandable. And so I created models on various levels of details. The most detailed ones I simulated here on the supercomputer. The less detailed ones, they were even tractable analytically, so really with pen and paper calculations. And that way we gained a little bit more insight about yeah, the, the inner workings of, of neural networks. You wrote the thesis here at the Forschungszentrum. What would you say what's special about it, doing it here in Jülich? And uh, maybe how does the Forschungszentrum and the people here support the young scientists like you? So to me, I think the first thing that struck me when coming here for my interview was when I entered the building, the Enum Sex Institute for Computation and Neuroscience, was that it really felt like a IT startup. There were screens hanging on the wall, people programming in front of it. Everybody was like busy working on something. Mm -hmm. It really created a, a lively atmosphere, a very creative atmosphere. And that, that really struck me. And so, yeah, I think in the in the bigger picture, there's the closeness to, to the supercomputing center here, which was really important for us to develop these, these simulations, to optimize the code, to make it run faster. And then yet on a broader picture, there, there are a lot of universities around here. So in particular with the university in Aachen, I, I had close collab collaborations with a professor there that turned out to be really fruitful. So I think it's this whole package that really makes the research center special in a way. And what happens next now for you? What are your plans for the near future? Currently, I'm a postdoc Swartz fellow at Harvard University where I had the great opportunity to, to work with really one of the leaders in, in our field who, at least to me, pushed the boundaries of what, what is possible and gaining new insights like yeah, nobody else. Mm. And so that's what I'm currently very much enjoying, to, to learn from him, to work with him and try to push the boundaries even further. And then um, the, the bigger steps, the next steps, I, I'm not entirely sure yet, but I very much enjoy doing research. I very much enjoy working with the people so I guess for now it, it seems like a career in, in science, but yeah, still wide open, far in the future. Well, then good luck for that. Thank, Thank you very, very much. much. Thanks. Thanks a lot.